This is the Think Maths Guide to Solving the Rubik's Cube, Steps 0, 1 and 2. Step 0, the Rubik's Cube. Hi, I'm Matt Parker and this is the Think Maths video on learning to solve the Rubik's Cube, uh, which is more straightforward than you would expect. You need to start off, uh, first of all, with the Rubik's Cube, so go find one of those. Uh, the one I'm using here is actually a DePaul UK Rubik's Cube. Uh, they're a charity that I work with and they hook me up with Rubik's Cubes. Uh, so what I'm going to do uh, is first of all give you a chance just to get a cube and play with it. So get any Rubik's Cube and mess it up just by twisting all the different faces in different directions. And actually one thing you should notice while you're doing this is that the center faces, so the white one here, the orange one here, they never really move. So no matter what I do, that white one will stay in the spot. I mean, it'll spin, but it's not actually going to go anywhere. And it's always opposite the yellow one. So in fact, you can imagine these are kind of like the axes of the Rubik's Cube. And so these center faces, they never move compared to each other, uh, and nothing you do will change uh, where they are. So in fact, when you try and solve the Rubik's Cube, you need to get all the white ones onto what we call the white face. So it's got white in the middle, I'll call this the white face, this is the green face and the orange one, and so on. Uh, and in fact, as your first little challenge, just as you're messing around with the Rubik's Cube, uh, see if you can, on the white face, see if you can get a white cross right in the middle. So uh, there are two other types of uh, cubes in a Rubik's Cube. There are the corner ones, so there are these eight corner cubes and they just move around. And then uh, there are the 12 edge cubes, so there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, the 12 edges of a cube. And when we solve a Rubik's Cube, you don't ever think about just a single colored square, you always think about it as being a whole cube. So see if you can find the four white edge cubes and get them all on the top to form a white cross. Step one, the white cross. Okay, so you should have something roughly like this where you've managed to get all four white ones sooner or later to all be up the top. Don't worry, it actually uh, gets kind of easier from here in. Uh, now, the next thing to notice is, even though you have successfully got a white cross there, if you look over here, this white one is on the same cube as this orange one. And the orange one is not on the orange face. The orange face is over here. So what we could do is get that and put it there. So now this edge piece, we call this the white orange edge piece, lines up with the white face and the orange face. But wait a minute, now this is the white red one and it doesn't line up with the red face that's over there. But now the orange one's gone. In fact, I've put the white cross successfully on the top but these are in the wrong order. They need to line up with their respective faces. And the easiest way to do this is instead of originally trying to put the white cross up here on the white face, you try and put it down here on the yellow face. And the reason for that, if I just quickly uh, do that, so that's three of them with oh, the other ones over there. Okay. So I've now got uh, the white cross on the yellow face. I can now line these up so this edge one here, the green one, is already on the green side and you can swing these all the way up to the white side so they still line up. And the next one here, this is the orange edge with white, so I'll line that up with orange and then I'll swing it up to the top like that. And then there is the red one, so I can swing the red one up on the red face. And the last one here is the blue white, oh there you go, it's on the blue one, I swing it up. And now you've successfully got the white cross on the top but each of the edge ones lines up with the same coloured face. Step two, the corner swap. Okay, the next step now is to put the corner pieces in. So you've got the white cross and as you can see you've got two of the corners already done. But again, like before, you've got to make sure you've got the correct corner in the correct place. So uh, this one here is, because you can see it's white on the top, that lines up with the white face. It's blue on this side, and this is the blue face. It's orange on this side, this is the orange face. This one over here is not correct. Uh, it is, uh, again, white on top, but it's orange and green, and it's between the green and the red. The orange and green one would have to go over here. And so I'm going to show you now how you get all the correct corners in the correct place. But you don't have to just go through and uh, try and find each one and work out how to get it there. So this is the red and blue one. You want it to end up 
up here. You don't have to try and do it from scratch every single time. The reason why people can solve the Rubik's Cube is they remember a sequence of moves which will move something to wherever they want it. So for example, I want to get this corner piece up there. I'm going to teach you your first sequence of moves called the corner swap. So the corner swap sequence is uh, you start with the cube facing you. Uh, and to make life easy, I'm going to always refer to this as the front side of the cube, as the back side of the cube. You've then got the right, you've got the left, and then you've got up and down. These are the kind of traditional names. So whichever way the cube's facing, you've got front, back, left, right, and so on. So uh, let's get our corner one here. These are the moves for this corner swap sequence. You start with the cube facing you. You want to swap this corner up to here. And so you take the right one and you turn anti-clockwise. So that's as far as this face is concerned, anti-clockwise. You then take the bottom one, you go anti-clockwise. You then go back to the right one and go back up clockwise, back down to the bottom one, go back over right clockwise. And that, as you can see, has moved that corner one up here. That's now in the correct place. Um, but it's facing the wrong way. We need the white on top, the blue over there, and the red over there. So what you can do to fix that is you repeat the same sequence again. So we now uh, go anti-clockwise, anti-clockwise, clockwise, clockwise. And it's back down here again. We do it one more time. Anti-clockwise, anti-clockwise, clockwise, clockwise. And it's back up, and now it's facing that way. Each time you move it out and back in again, it will actually rotate a bit. So if I do that again, uh, and back up, back up down here and then that, 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 ah, there it is. It's now in place facing the correct direction. In fact, you can now take all of these. This is the red green corner. I'm going to put it one to there. That's, that's the red green one where it's got to go. One, two, one, two. No, it's facing the wrong way. One, whoops, two, one, two, one, two, one, Two. Ah, and there it is. So what you need to do now is go through and see if you can get all the corner pieces in the correct corners. So I've only got one more left here. Uh, almost. Ah, got it. Okay. So I've now got all corner pieces in and they line up. So you've got all the greens on one side, oranges, blues, reds. And in fact, that is the first major step towards solving the Rubik's Cube.